All right, everyone, We're on the Taurus here, and pretty common repair on these <clears throat> is the camshaft synchronizer, and there are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to replace it, and the guys did a great job, and a lot of talented and gifted mechanics out there that just showed thoroughly how it works and how to replace it, and I'm not even going to try and duplicate that. But there's one thing that's intimidating a lot of people, including me, in attempting and taking the synchronizer out of the engine. And that is that if you lose timing, it's not like an old car with a distributor where you can rotate it and try to find the timing. The timing light, this one here is timed into the computer. So if you lose the timing, you could be in a bit of trouble. So some guys on out there simply take it out and don't line anything up they just put it back exactly the way they took it out wherever the engine stops they just pull it out and then put it back in and yeah you can do that as long as it goes back the same way you're not going to lose engine timing other people have said you can't do the job unless you have the special alignment tool and i will tell you that 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 alignment tool is right here and i didn't purchase it it came with the replacement part the replacement synchronizer happened to have it and the idea of this alignment tool is that when the engine is at top dead center for the cylinder number one the tab which operates with the whole effect on the cam sensor which you can see right here will be in alignment with this window when that's alignment with this window you're at top dead center and your alignment tool will simply slip right on so there's your reference so you don't lose timing you take out the bolt you see on the bottom you slide this out the whole assembly will rotate and then you won't lose the timing when you go to replace the old synchronizer now the thing that I just found that was easier is getting this engine to top dead center and then being able to have the alignment tool line up and then I could be sure that I'm not going to lose engine timing so basically to get top dead center on this car what I did is I removed the passenger front tire as you can see here Okay, passion front tires just simply off. That's all I took off. And then there's a little tab here for your splash guard. You can see it's just a pop tab. I just popped it right out and pop it back in when I'm done with the job. And this splash guard, which just protects the underdrive pulleys from water and and making sure that the serpentine belt doesn't slip, is you just peel this back and there's your crank pulley. That bolt in the center, if you turn that you're simply going to rotate the whole engine. Some guys say you could try to turn the alternator pulley in order to do that. I tried, it just slips in place. You have to go down to the crank right here. So that center bolt right there, that's the main bolt. You put a, a socket on that and you turn it. You, you turn the whole engine. I'll even give you the size. I used a half inch drive and a 21 millimeter ratchet, uh, socket, excuse me. I used a 21 millimeter socket and turned it right over. I had my wife stand over here and just let me know when about the window lined up and once it did I just took the little tool put it on and boom I verified that I have top dead center so now all I got to do is pull this one out and replace place it with the new one so that's what I found helps I like to be sure so if I'm sure I know how to get top dead center it's not too bad just like any any car just rotate through crank pulley and you're done but for today, I'm done because the weather is atrocious. I'm getting soaked, and I'm just not that tough. I'm going in, and I'll do this tomorrow. That's it. So I'm on my way. All right, guys. Peace, and be blessed.